1 Prologue You are listening at FameTV.info Chun Bo, 1, stood on top of Chun Mountain. His wild long black hair hanging loosely down his back, fluttering enigmatically in the spring breeze, as two large suns rose from the east. They illuminated the horizon with gold rays. Under the dawn, Chang Bo's unblemished milky skin seemed to shimmer, his blue eyes contained the stars. It was as if the heavens themselves were blessing him, underneath Chang Bo various floating valleys made of rivers and rock formations were on display, the clouds were within his reach, and the birds flew by. Chang Bo stretched out his arms as if he were embracing the world. The rampant spiritual essence energy running wildly on the land halted and rushed towards him frantically. He felt it seep into his blood and refreshing his spirit, his chi increased in volume and quickly shrank again as it was filtered and purified within his dantin. Backslash, I've finally broken through into the Tao stage, backslash, he laughed jubilantly. He was proud of himself. At a mere 100 years of age he'd surpassed all his peers and in record speed had attained the Tao. He could finally be considered a true celestial practitioner. As Changbo smugly grinned to himself and felt as if the world was truly his oyster, he heard a rather annoying voice yell backslash, your time is up, backslash, Changbo's brows furrowed in irritation. He chose to ignore it, yet a second later, backslash, no longer will we be under your evil tyranny, be prepared to head to the afterlife, backslash, another annoying voice shouted. Backslash, Dai Chang Bo backslash, backslash, face the punishment for your crimes, backslash, soon several annoying voices were calling out to him, backslash, be quiet, backslash, Chang Bo said, he spoke softly but his words still echoed like thunder across the valleys. Causing the clouds underneath to part, the birds to scatter and the earth to quake. His words spread to the hordes of practitioners behind him, making some of the weaker ones shriek as their ears began to bleed. Chang Bo slowly turned and was slightly startled at the sight of over 200 practitioners. He raised a perfect eyebrow in surprise. It wasn't just some lowly weak peasants. Amongst them he also saw some powerful practitioners at the Tao stage, Ascendant stage, and Allfather stage. What had he done to get such powerful figures here? He doubted they came to congratulate him on breaking through to the Tao. Backslash, what is this about, backslash, Chang Bo asked with a frown, backslash, the Supreme Lord of Stars has decided that you have become an eyesore Chang Bo backslash, the sneaky and silky voice announced, the host of the voice was a woman with silver hair that shone like strands of moonlight. She was extremely stunning, a flower, but Chang Bo wasn't captured by her beauty. Instead his frown only deepened. Backslash, why is this which, Fu Hao, here, backslash, was all he could think, she quickly took a step back and averted her eyes. Backslash, he's broken through to the Tao stage, backslash, Fu Hao, too, realized, backslash, how was that possible, backslash, Chang Bo was only 100 years old and yet he'd already surpassed her and was able to make her chi disrupt just from his aura. She'd known that he was a heaven-defying talent but this was too much. Even for the most peerless talents of the past it would take at least 1000 years to reach the Tao stage. How was this possible dot unless he'd had some type of legendary encounter? Backslash, you've overstepped your boundaries, Chang Bo backslash, she squeezed out, sweat dripping from her forehead, backslash, you've gone too far this time, backslash, Chang Bo was honestly confused. Too far. With what exactly, backslash, first you slaughtered the Hong clan in cold blood, backslash, Fu Hao announced, Chang Bo rolled his eyes, backslash, so what? I am the son of the supreme lord of the stars, heir to the star realm. The Hong clan insulted me, therefore they insulted this realm, they deserved their punishment. Getting rid of small pests such as them is by no means significant, backslash, Fu Hao's hand twitched in rage. This boy was so overbearingly arrogant. Backslash, you then slaughtered the righteous Jia clan. Although they were a mid-tier group they have been fighting to protect the star realm for hundreds of thousands of years, backslash, backslash, they were a bunch of self-entitled hypocrites, that used their righteous title to commit all kinds of heinous crimes. 
I was doing the realm a favor, backslash, Chang Bo retorted, backslash, then, backslash, screamed Fu Hao, backslash, you killed Li Jingyi and stole the static artifact of Void Master Ju Wan from the domain of deities. Do you have an excuse for that one, backslash, Chang Bo froze. What? He'd never done that. Why would she claim he'd do such a thing? The domain of deities was a sacred burial ground for epic heroes of the past who formed the worlds and shaped the eras. Stealing from that domain was beyond criminal, it was practically sacrilege and punishable with death. And Li Jingyi. Wasn't she the daughter of his father's rival, the Supreme Lord of Demons? Had Li Jingyi died? That didn't make any sense, he'd seen her at the Eternal Lotus Festival only yesterday. If she died and he killed her, that wasn't even funny as a joke. Both the star and its neighboring demon celestial realm had only cooperated peace together a few millennia ago, it was still a fragile agreement. Li Jingyi being killed by him would prompt another bloody war. He would never do such a thing. He was reckless and arrogant, a trait he would admit to, but he wasn't stupid. Someone was framing him, backslash, I wouldn't dare do something like that. I am obviously being falsely accused backslash, Chang Bo pushed past Fu Hao, backslash, move aside I must have an audience with my father, backslash, backslash, falsely accused, backslash, Fu Hao laughed, backslash, is that what your excuse is? There were several witnesses who saw you together with Li Jingyi at the Eternal Lotus Festival yesterday before she died. Also the stolen static artifact was found in your quarters only this morning. What excuse do you have against all this evidence, backslash evidence? Chang Bo's eyes narrowed. In what way was that evidence, that was the most pitiful excuse for evidence he'd ever heard? Anyone that agreed to this so-called evidence had to be blind. This wasn't credible proof at all. If he'd really stolen the artifact why would he blatantly leave it in his quarters for anyone to find, and so what if he was with Li Jingyi yesterday? It didn't mean he killed her. But as Chang Bo saw the outraged look on Fu Hao's face and saw the cold expressions of everyone present, he realized that it didn't matter what evidence she gave, they were all set on framing him. Were they all in on this, or was some mastermind plotting against him? Whichever it was, such accusations could start another war between the realms. He couldn't let that happen, he had to prove his innocence. Where was his father? There was no way his father would let him be framed for such outrageous crimes. Immediately he summoned his flying sword Celestial Sun, and jumped on its back, preparing to fly straight to the Imperial Castle. Celestial Sun was a Tier 1 immortal artifact, and its scorching aura blew many of the weaker cultivators aside. Yet as he hovered above the crowd he suddenly felt his chi disrupt and he threw up a mouthful of blood. Immediately he lost control of Celestial Sun and fell back first onto the ground. The crowd surrounding him. Blood oozed from every orifice. Poison. When, how? He couldn't move. The poison seemed to have been lying dormant in his body for quite some time and only at this moment had it been activated. Searing pain ran through him, he felt the poison eating and sucking up his star energy, wrapping itself around his Danton like a snake, trying to crush it. If his Danton was crushed he wouldn't be able to separate his soul from his body and revive at a later date. Backslash, am I going to die, backslash, Chang Bo couldn't help but think. Backslash, I, the chosen son of the stars. The next enthroned to the grandest realm, being poisoned to death. No I will not go down like this, backslash, Chang Bo weakly clutched his chest and grabbed onto a necklace. It was a life-saving treasure called Five Star Five Lives, it only had five uses and could save its host from near death. As he activated it he felt the poison stop moving in his veins. Five Star Five Lives temporarily held it back, but it wasn't capable of healing wounds, if someone wanted to finish him off right now, he wouldn't be able to resist that he scowled at Fu Hao who was staring blankly at him. He spat blood in her direction as he activated his emergency escape treasure. A rare ancient tool, dating back from the dawning ages. There were only eight of its kind known to exist. It was a gatekeeper's key. In every world there is a gatekeeper, 
the Gatekeepers are a mysterious and powerful group that control the border of realms and worlds. No one is allowed to go in or out without attaining the permission of a Gatekeeper first. The Gatekeeper's key is the only exception, allowing one to go to any realm immediately without needing prior permission that IT could only be used once. The drawback being that there was no control over the destination and one could end up anywhere. Even in a realm where powerful monsters lurked and there was guaranteed death. The key was a, also a forbidden item, if he used it he'd probably get into a lot of trouble. But Chang Bo had no other choice. As his body faded away, he hissed backslash whoever is behind this. I know you're here. I will be back backslash, free, one, Chang, as in smooth, free, and unrestrained, Bo meaning wave. His name translates to free wave. 2, Fu means wealthy, and Hua as in splendid. I wanted her name to mean splendid wealth, free, lol I didn't mean for that to sound like the Terminator. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.